Good afternoon, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Ramon Preston Show. This is the day that the Lord has made. We are rejoicing. We are glad in it. Happy Monday. It is Millionaire Monday. It's a beautiful day here in the beautiful Buckhead community of Atlanta. If you're coming on joining me live, please do me a quick favor. Hit the like button. Hit the share button. Tag Lolly Dolly everybody and let them know your boy, Ramon Preston, my squad, we are live right here in the beautiful Buckhead community of Atlanta. And you, my friends, today are watching the Ramon Preston Show. We're gonna be talking about, we're gonna be talking about 10 steps to a creative real estate deal. 10 steps to a creative real estate deal. So again, please hit the like button, hit the share button, tag Lolly Dolly, everybody, and let them know that the Ramon Preston Show is live and we are excited about all the information we're gonna be sharing with you today, okay? Please do me a favor, make sure you put in the comments what city or state or country you're watching us from. Please put in the comments where you're watching the Ramon Preston Show from. I would love to know where you are watching us from. Uh, also, if at any point in today's live that you have a question you need answered, uh, you can put the question in the chat. My team is always lurking, looking in the comments in the chat to see if there are questions that we can answer for you. So don't hesitate to put uh, your questions in the comments. I would love to answer any questions that you may have. Uh, my hope and expectation is that your month, uh, your week, your day is going amazing. Uh, if for some reason it ain't going as amazing as you want it to go, we're going to see if we can change that doggone thing before today's show is over. So again, welcome to the Ramon Preston Show. If you don't know, now you know. I'm your host, Ramon Preston, and we come here live uh, from our studio right here in our headquarters in Buckhead, Atlanta to share information with you. Of course, we wanna inspire you, we wanna motivate you, we wanna educate you, but we also wanna inform you on the things that we know can help you take your business, your finances, or your wealth building dreams to the next level, all right? If this is your first time watching the show, I wanna say thank you for joining us today be sure to follow us on all platforms at Ramon Preston. You can find me at Ramon Preston. Subscribe to our YouTube page. I'm super excited about my YouTube page. I mean, I love y'all Facebook. I love y'all LinkedIn. I love Instagram. I love TikTok, Twitter, or X, Threads, and all these other platforms. But I, I, I have a tremendous appreciation for all of my YouTube family. Uh, for some reason, people on YouTube just, they have a, they're, they're in a different state of mind when they go to YouTube. I'm not saying it's not, it, it, it's, it's, the, it's different people. A lot of times it's the same person, but they have a different mentality or a different perspective or they have a different, you know, appetite when they go to YouTube. Like you could be the same person, you could watch Facebook and then you have a different mindset when you go to Instagram, and then you got a different mindset when you go to uh, YouTube. So we just passed, uh, what, 12,000 subscribers? Yeah, we just passed 12,000 subscribers on YouTube. Real subscribers. We don't pay for subscribers on YouTube. You could probably pay for that stuff on some of them other platforms, which we don't, but you, you can't do that on YouTube. So. We have 12, over 12,000 subscribers on YouTube. So I definitely want you to subscribe to my YouTube page. We probably have over 4,000 videos. Of course, some of those videos may be replays from some of our lives, but for the most part, out of those 4,000 plus, we may have about 3,000 real authentic videos uh, teaching everything from holding companies to asset management to creative tax strategies to financial literacy to 
operational systems and processes. And of course, what we're going to be talking about today, real estate investing. So for those of you that are interested in becoming real estate investors, or if you're already a real estate investor, there's a whole world of creative real estate investing that I personally don't think a lot of people or enough people have tapped into. And there's no scarcity. So it's not like the market is flooded. Even in the traditional realm of real estate investing, it's not overwhelmed. It's not oversaturated. There's always an opportunity for you in real estate investing. But when you start moving over into this creative or non-traditional way of investing in the real estate, there are so many opportunities that are available, especially now because of the way the housing market is because of the way the entrepreneurial landscape is because of the way the banks are, the lending institutions are, you have some opportunity. So again, if you're a real estate investor, or if you're thinking about becoming a real estate investor, but you're looking for a community to be a part of, you want to receive education and training and mentorship from people who are actually doing it, then we're going to give you that opportunity at the end of today's show. I'll give you some information that you can reach out to us with. And if there's a good fit for us, we can help you along the way. So today, today we're going to be talking about 10, 10 steps to a creative real estate investing. Okay. 10 steps. I'm probably only going to cover a couple. So this will be part one tomorrow in our live, we'll, we'll try to try our best to, to cover part two. Uh, but I put these 10 steps together and they're, they're like micro steps that you need to take to see what does a creative real estate deal look like from entry to exit. All right. What does a, what does a creative real estate deal look like? Now you keep hearing me say creative real estate investing or creative real estate deals or the creative real estate process, that whole creative real estate uh, term that I'm using, it is describing the non-traditional way we invest in real estate. It, it is different from traditional real estate investing in that we might not be using our own credit. We might not use our own credentials. And in many cases, we're using little to none of our own cash. That's the, the meat. That's the meat of creative real estate investing. And that's why I, I believe there are more people who are becoming interested in, in the creative real estate investing space because they, they realize that, wow, I don't need the credit I need with a conventional real estate deal. I don't need the credentials I need with a creative real estate deal. I don't need all the cash that I would need with a conventional real estate deal, <clears throat> excuse me. So it's becoming more and more appealing. So today I'm going to just talk on part one of that, that 10 step creative real estate process. And again, these are just my steps. So the first step is to generate the lead. This is probably the most important step because if you don't generate a lead, how are you going to do a deal? Everything begins with generating a lead. Now I can unpack this, which I should unpack it, especially for those of you who are watching the show and you're just learning some of the ins and outs of, of creative real estate investing. I, I don't, I don't, I don't think I should rush through it. The good thing is I have courses on this inside of our millionaire blueprint educational program. I also have workshops that I host. I have uh, regular meetups that I host where we deep dive into all of these principles and practices regarding creative real estate. So if I, if I move through something too fast, just know you can respond at the end of the show. I'm going to give you a number to reach out to me. If you want access to our courses on creative real estate investing, if you want to join me for one of our upcoming meetups, where we sit down and we deep dive and we role play, we underwrite deals, or if you want to attend one of our workshops, you're going to have an opportunity. But this is the first step to a creative real estate deal. Generate the lead. 
Now, generating a lead, I want you to understand something. It requires a clear marketing plan, okay? If you're gonna generate a lead to purchase or to acquire a piece of real estate, especially as a creative real estate investor, well, you have to have a clear uh, marketing campaign, right? You have to have a clear marketing campaign. And that means you're, you must be clear on what your primary acquisition strategy is, all right? What is your, so, so let me just write that down. This requires a clear marketing plan, marketing campaign. Because this is one of the questions that I get a lot from people like, okay, if I get into real estate investing, how am I going to find the properties or where am I going to go to find these properties? Well, you need to number one, have a clear marketing campaign in order for you to have a clear marketing campaign. You have to be clear on what your acquisition strategy is. So what is your primary? acquisition strategy, meaning that I'm going to put a question mark there. So again, we're talking about the first step to uh, a creative real estate deal. Okay. First step is you got to generate a lead. Okay. You got to generate a lead. How am I going to generate a lead? Well, it starts with me having a clear marketing campaign. I've got to know who I'm reaching out to. I've got to know what type of property that I feel is the type of property I want to buy if I have an opportunity. So that means I need to know what my primary acquisition strategy is. I personally think as a business consultant uh, who works with entrepreneurs, not just in real estate, but even with the sale of their products and services, I think you also need what we call a perfect client profile and this could also be this client could be a seller all right so when I say a perfect client profile that would mean you have a perfect seller profile so for example if your acquisition strategy for creative real estate investing is pre foreclosures all right you, you're just targeting pre foreclosures all right, well, now you know what your primary acquisition strategy is if it's pre-foreclosures, people who are in default, people who are, are, are going to lose their homes. Well, you also have a perfect client profile or seller profile. Why? Because this is a distressed seller. This is somebody who's going through something financially, who has issues. It may be very volatile. It's not going to be like a, a, a peaches and cream, walk in the park type conversation you have with this type of person because they're in distress. But at least now I know what my acquisition strategy is. I know who my perfect client or my seller profile is, what it looks like. Now I can put a marketing campaign together because my marketing campaign is going to be based on what? my acquisition strategy. What type of properties am I looking for? If it's pre foreclosures, I know now I can check the box. Let me make my check a little better. I could check that box. All right. If I'm targeting pre foreclosures, I have an idea who my perfect seller profile is, what that person looks like. I could check that box. Now it's just a matter of me figuring out what type of marketing campaign do I need to put together to find pre foreclosures who that, 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 that are on pre foreclosure properties that are owned by sellers who are in distress. Once I find out or identify with where these properties are, I can put a marketing campaign together. That's what I mean when I say the first step is generating a lead, because if you don't put this type of profile together, if you don't do this part, then you're really not going to generate the right lead. Let's say, for example, if you just out there running ads and you just, you, you, you just looking for anything, well, that might not work for you, especially if you're not a big company, you don't have a big marketing budget. It might not work for you. Okay. 
So again, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to drop the questions in the comments. Uh, but again, this is the first step to uh, cre a creative real estate deal. You got to know how to generate the lead. Now there are some areas, there are some areas that, that you can, you can target in order to find the type of property that you want to buy. And again, it may not be a pre foreclosure. It may be a tired landlord that you're looking for. It may be, um, uh, it, it, it may be an expired listing. Okay. So there's, there are certain types of properties that you can target who have owners who have different motivations for wanting to sell. Whatever type of property that is, you just need to put a profile together so that you can be clear on what your acquisition strategy is. And it may not be the only acquisition strategy, okay? That's why I said primary, your primary acquisition strategy. So for example, your primary acquisition strategy may be, I wanna find off-market deals in a certain area um, that are owned by people uh, who, who inherited their properties from an estate or from probate or f through a wheel or uh, vacant properties where the owners are out of state or I want to find properties that are owned by small LLCs that have at least two or three properties in their portfolio that are empty. Now you, you got to start putting that together. So as a, as a real estate investor, in order to generate the lead, you have to be clear on what type of properties do I want to acquire? You can't just be around here saying, yeah, I'm a real estate investor. I want to, I just want to buy everything. I want to buy trailers. When you get to a certain point in your real estate investing and you have a, a, a big enough uh, war chest of money, you got backing from people, you got a staff, you got systems. Now you can start branching out. But when you, when you just getting started and you on the come up, as a real estate investor, you need to be clear on what type of properties. Now, guess what? Maybe you don't want to be the end buyer. Maybe you just want to get an assignment fee as a wholesaler, or maybe you just want to find deals and bring them to an investor uh, and make some money off of just bringing them to deal as a deal founder. Well, if that's the case, guess what you need to do? You need to go back to some of the videos we recently posted about deal finding and you need to reach out to real estate investors in your area to find out from them what their buy box is, like what is their investment criteria, and then you start marketing to people who own homes based on the criteria that the investor has. But if it's just you, <clears throat> generating the lead is gonna require a clear marketing campaign, okay? Uh, it's going to also require clarity on what your primary acquisition strategy is. What type of property are you looking for? What is the, what is the issue? What is the problem? What is the motivation behind somebody selling this property? And then you need a perfect client or seller profile because you want to be able to know, is this the type of person I want to deal with? Like for us, one of our primary acquisition strategies is pre foreclosures. All right. So that means we are, we are marketing, or reaching out to people who are in pre foreclosure. That's one of our primary acquisition strategies for residential properties. Okay. So that means we have a profile of this perfect seller. We know what they deal with and we have solutions to help them in certain ways that a lot of investors don't want to have solutions to, 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 to offer because they might not want to help somebody get a moving truck, get a storage, find, help them find them a new place, help work out all the kinks of the, 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 the liens or the debts that they have, the pressure of an auction coming up. They might not want to deal with that. So if you don't want to deal with that, a pre foreclosure won't be the type of property you target. Okay. It may be a different type of property, but you need to know that. All right. So let me erase this and let me go to another point real quick uh, before I give you the second step. And I'm gonna try to get through all 10 of them, if, if not today, maybe within the next couple of days. 
Uh, but again, step one is generate the lead and, and it's going to require you having a clear marketing campaign. It's going to require you being clear on what your primary acquisition strategy is and you need to be clear on who your perfect client or seller profile is. What does that person look like? Now, if you're a wholesaler or a deal finder, if you're not the end buyer, the investor, if you're not a wholesaler or deal finder, then uh, I would recommend that you uh, join some social media groups. There are a lot of real estate investing groups, creative real estate investing groups as well on social media, particularly Facebook. You can find Facebook groups of creative real estate investors or wholesalers in your area. Uh, you can go to the local REIA these local real estate investment as associations that they have uh, set up. You can reach out to real estate agents and let them know what your investment criteria or what your buy box is uh, so that they can be aware that these are things that you're looking for. And again, if you're a wholesaler or a deal finder, it's going to be best for you to put a buyer's list together of investors, right? And when you put that buyer's list together, uh, you're going to ask the buyer, the investor, what your buy box is. Like what type of properties are you looking for? So if you called me, Ramon Preston, or my company, RP Capital, and spoke to one of my team members and said, hey, I watched the live. Ramon said he's a end buyer. He's an investor. I want to know what is his investment criteria? What type of properties are, are he, is he looking for? What is his buy box? And they're going to tell you he's looking for this type of house in this area. Here's some of the details of the criteria. Now you add me to your list. Okay. And you can go to social media, RIAs, and you can reach out to agents to start getting some deal flow or some lead generation activity going. All right. Uh, there are a lot of different websites that you're going to use to actually underwrite these properties and break down the data points to see if this property is a good deal when you generate the lead. So if I go out there and generate a lead because I'm looking for a pre foreclosure and I get the information, I've got to take that information and put it inside of another platform to get all the data so that I'll know how to reach out to this person. I'll know what type of loan they have, what the, what the balance of that loan is. There, there, there are websites and platforms that you pay money every month to have access to so that you can learn what that property is about. You got to get information on that property. You can't just get an address and think, oh, okay, I'm going to just call this person and just ask them what's going on. You got to get information. So you have to be willing to use different websites. Uh, we call it data stacking is skip tracing how you get names, or not names, but numbers and email addresses to reach out to that particular seller. Uh, we use platforms like PropStream. Some of you real estate investors are already familiar with some of these uh, websites, but you can use PropStream, you can use Batch Leads, PropWire, REI Pro. I mean, the list goes on and on. There are so many different platforms that you use because when you generate the lead, meaning that once you know what type of property you want to invest in, what type of property you want to buy, what type of real estate you want to acquire, and you are clear on what type of seller that is. So you, you know what type of person you're talking with, what, 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 what common problems they have, and what your approach needs to be to that person. When you start putting a list of those types of properties together and you start marketing to those individuals and getting the information, you've got to take that address and the information and you've got to put it somewhere so that you can start building a, a, a bigger profile. Like what type of owner is this? What, what it, all the details of that property and these platforms give you that, that ability. You can also do some market research and basic comping, uh, on Zillow, Redfin, realtor.com and Trulia. And of course, if you are targeting uh, foreclosures or, or properties that are in pre foreclosure, you're going to go to some of the auction sites like auction.com, Exome Auctions, Realty Bid, foreclosure.com, 10x.com, Service Link. All this information that I'm sharing with y'all, I teach this in my courses, I teach this 
in our workshops. I talk about this every two weeks uh, now that we are hosting our local meetups here at our office with some of our uh, creative real estate investor mentees. But this is information that you got to have. All of this is just step one, <laughs> generating the lead. But that's where all your money at. That's where all your money at. Okay, step two. I don't think I'm going to go no further than this. You have to make initial contact. I don't even think I'm going to go no further than step two today. You have to make initial contact. All right? So this, this step, so let's say you generating the lead, you know what kind of real estate you want to buy. You have put some somewhat of a profile together for what type of seller that person is. Why is that important? Well, you got to know how you're going to reach out to that person. If you talk to somebody that owns a property like the one you want to buy, what are you going to say to that person? That means you're going to have to have some type of script, some type of sales process because it's still sales. You, even though you're trying to buy a property, you're still selling yourself because they still have to make a decision that they want to do business with you. This is like the stuff that I'm talking about right now. If you want to be in real estate and what I'm saying to you is like burning your brain out, it's only because you're not hearing it enough and you're not practicing it enough. If you get this information enough and you start putting it into practice and you start doing it on a day to day basis, whether you work a job or run another business, it's going to become more and more clear to you and you're going to understand it better. But there ain't no way you're going to be successful uh, over a long period of time in real estate investing, especially if it's creative real estate investing, if you don't do what I'm talking about doing. So step two is you got to make the initial contact. So this could be inbound. This could inbound, meaning that you could be sending out mailers or you could be running ads and you get people reaching out to you. That would be an inbound call or contact, right? Or it could be outbound. That means you're making calls, you're sending emails out, you're text messaging, you're sending mailers out. Or it could be in person where you're, you're knocking on doors. Like these are the things that a lot of real estate investors do. You driving for dollars or deals. These are the things that you do. The most common way is through outbound calls, outbound text messages, outbound emails. So now making an initial contact is going to require you doing it or you having a staff and a team that does it, or you having like VAs, virtual assistants that's helping you doing it either way. If somebody's reaching out to a potential seller of a property that you know you like to buy and you know what type of person that is who owns that property and what their common motivations are, you need some type of script. You, you don't need to be calling people and every time you call somebody, you saying something different. There needs to be like this format, this process, this sales process that you're clear. Hi, is this Tom? Yes, this is Tom. Hi, Tom. My name is Ramon Preston with RP Capital Home Solutions. The reason for the call is, or whatever your spiel is, you give them what your spiel is. Nine out of 10 times, not interested. They hang up on you. They cuss you out. Like this is sales 101. It happens with anything you do. More so, it, it will be like that in real estate, depending on the type of seller that you are reaching out to but at least you're prepared for that. And then you get that one person to say, oh, okay, yeah, I'm open to that. Tell me more. Now you need to have information for them. So again, making initial contact is step two uh, for your creative real estate deal. Like I'm giving you so much game right now, especially if you're a newbie, if you're just getting into real estate investment or you kind of like lurking social media, watching real estate investors show their houses and show their cars. And you like, man, I want to get in this thing. They might not be talking about some of this hard stuff other than in their classes or workshops. I'm just going live to share this information with you because this is what I love to do. I love to share information that I know can help people. Okay. So, uh, the most common way is through outbound calls, text messages, and emails. But you should always have a professional sales script available. You should have a script. 
If you don't have a professional sales script, we provide them inside of our Millionaire Blueprint educational program. We give them to our mentees. We just had a meetup here for real estate investing Saturday at our office. Guess what? We had copies of a new script that we started recently using just to show them how we actually call people today. What we saying when we make a call today, okay? So I'm gonna stop there because I don't wanna overwhelm you with a lot of information. So these are just two of the 10 steps to a creative real estate deal. Now, again, if you are thinking about becoming a real estate investor, whether it's creative real estate investing or conventional real estate investing, it really doesn't matter. A lot of what I'm saying to you applies to both sides of the spectrum. I am a real estate investor. I would be considered more of a creative real estate investor. Nevertheless, I'm still a real estate investor and I still have to do these two steps. I've got to generate leads, because I got to have somebody somebody to reach out to who got a piece of real estate that they might want to sell it. And I have to know what type of real estate I want to buy. I've got to know the, the mindset, the motivations behind this type of person who owns this property, because I have to know how to make initial contact. I got to know what to say to this person. What questions am I asking this person? What objections are they going to have? When I do get on the phone with somebody or I do get a chance to talk to somebody, what are the things do I need to be mindful of? What are the risks associated to doing this type of deal? Because it's always risk. These are things that you have, to, you, have to get, you have to get better at. So if you're interested in learning more about real estate investing or creative real estate investing, I want to offer you uh, to join our millionaire mentorship program. This is a one year mentorship program and we have a couple options in this program, meaning that uh, we have an option for you to join the program and you're able to pay as you go. We have a pay as you go option so that you don't necessarily have to pay everything at one time. We have a one time payment option, which is a little less. And we also have a couple other options above that where you can pay and you can receive one on one coaching from me and my team. If not, the pay as you go option is beneficial because it comes with a lot of different activities. Number one, we give you access to our millionaire blueprint. This is our world class signature educational program everything you need to learn, not just about real estate investing, because we teach much more. We teach you how to start and structure your holding company. We teach you how to become an asset manager. We have courses on all this. We teach you creative tax strategies to show you how do you use uh, vehicles like real estate investing to lower your tax bill for other revenue that you generate in other businesses. We teach you systems and processes. How do you put a whole general operating system together with processes to make what you do as an entrepreneur more effective and more efficient? We teach you sales and marketing. We have scripts. We have strategies to show you how to approach uh, sellers if you're in real estate investing or how to just take your business as a whole and package it in a way that you can get the attention that you, you want with whatever products <clears throat> or services that you provide. And of course, we have a whole suite of educational courses and content on creative real estate investing. We show you exactly what we do as creative real estate investors. And so we have a millionaire mentorship program. It's a one year program. We have the millionaire blueprint that is unlimited access. You get to that educational program hundreds and hundreds of educational courses, documents, forms, everything that you need from enter, entry, of, entry of entrepreneurship and to exit, no matter what you're doing in between. We have weekly coaching calls. So every Monday night, we host a Millionaire Monday coaching call. It's a private Zoom call live that we talk about certain topics regarding business, entrepreneurship, money, 
taxes, systems, processes, people, leadership, communication, sales, marketing, real estate investing. We talk about everything under the sun. And um, we have a, a chance for Q&A. Uh, we, we have a community. We, have a, we also have a networking community inside of our university where you can reach out to people, talk to them, get questions answered, network, connect with people, partner up with people. So we have our weekly calls. We have quarterly workshops. So every quarter we host at least one one day event where we deep dive into all of these different pillars. So we have a holding company and asset management workshop. We have a sales and marketing workshop. We have a systems and processes workshop. We, we have a finance and tax strategy workshop. We have a real estate investing workshop. And then we also have uh, our regular meetups outside of workshops and weekly calls. So now we're starting every two weeks to host a live in-person meetup right here specifically for creative real estate investing. We just hosted one this past Saturday and literally it was about maybe 13 or 14 of us here and uh, we sat around a table like a boardroom table in our training room. We went, we, we did some underwriting exercises uh, to get better at underwriting. I'm showing everybody how to underwrite. Uh, we pulled some lists, properties from, from certain lists. We, we did some role playing with a script. And uh, we also made some calls to real sellers who have real estate that we can buy. All right. And on top of that, for everyone that's in our mentorship program, my company is backing them. Meaning that if you get a deal, and you're not able to finance that deal, if that deal meets our investment criteria, we're gonna back that. We're gonna work with you and we're gonna either buy it and give you a wholesale assignment fee, or it, there may be some potential partnership there. We don't know yet until we see the deal. Either way, you have a built-in community of people and it ain't just me and my team, it's other entrepreneurs who are already running businesses and who are getting into real estate investing and we really wanna show you this, this this, we want to show you this side of real estate because I think the next two to three years, there's going to be so many opportunities for a creative real estate investor that you could become a millionaire just doing this niche outside of your job or outside of your regular business. So if you're interested in becoming a member of our millionaire mentorship coaching community, uh, I want you to reach out to me today, all right? You can call or text MENTOR to 678-276-8253 or 8556, all right? I got to go, y'all. I have a 